Hello, homeschoolers. Uh, my name is Laurel, and I homeschool my three boys using the Robinson curriculum as the base of our education. Today, I'm going to be talking about switching from conventional math fact flashcards to the triangular fact family cards. Okay, so I bought this. I'll show you. This is just, this is like all our. Again, this is addition and subtraction, and here is multiplication and division. This is all facts, 0 to 12 in each one. And so this is just so much less room. I can't believe how much more simple, minimal, oops, and uh, less space consuming <laughs> this is. And so there's, I've been hearing buzz about the triangle stuff from Karen over at our house. I will link a video that she made about using um, how to um, kind of do visualization and stuff with the triangular cards. But I was going to show you today how I am switching things over from conventional flashcards to the triangle math flashcards. I just took all the fact families out. I just have them to the side. Okay, next. I these are just their kind of like how to cards, which to be honest, um, were not very helpful. Yeah. So I, but they're there. <laughs> Might just throw them away. Okay. The other thing it came with, which is helpful is these three things. So we've got mastered, they have don't know yet and sort of know. So, um, I am going to, so I'm going to keep the mastered, right? I'm going to put that in. There's a couple facts we've already gone over today. I know he knows his zero and ones relationship. We're kind of going through and I'm just putting that in the back here for mastered facts. I can put into there. Then I just grabbed, um, I had some labels around the house like this. I cut it in half and then I kind of cut it down to size and I'm going to relabel these ones current. So the current um, fact families will be working on and on deck. So I want to alternate the colors. So since mastered is gray, then I'll do on deck in the white. So on deck would mean to me ones that he hasn't even, like we haven't worked on yet. Put that in. And then current would be whatever set we are working on. Now, how do you know what set to use? I'll tell you what I'm using. Okay, so if you wanna know, like, well, what, what would be our current set and what would be on deck, whatever. So they kind of come basically in order. I have this document that I got from taking Karen's Triangle Math Fact Tracker. Somebody made this um, and Karen added it into her Remedial Sustainable Homeschooling course. So I just downloaded it from there, but I mean, you could, you could make easily make something like this on your own. And uh, I'm just using it because I had access to it. You can see we've gone through some stuff before. So what it does is it gives a triangle family. So this was all addition and subtraction. It's switching over to multiplication and division. And it is one, two, three, four, five, six families approximately, right? And then there's a quiz that matches up with it. So right now, I am just going through this first family, pulling these out, and I am checking ones to see if William already knows them, because he's already had quite a bit of multiplication practice. So, but this is, we're, we're starting something new, so there'll be a lot of review for him here, but I want to be accurate moving forward on what he actually needs to work on, you know? Okay, so to get myself ready to switch over, I am trying to take my stack. So these kind of came in a different order than the file I got from the remedial course. So I'm just trying to pull out these first few. So this will be group P. I think I've already pulled this out. I just, as I found them, I just made a little dot so I knew where I was. Group R over here. I just need two, seven, 14 to finish that one. This is group Q, um, and I guess this will be S down here, but I haven't found those ones yet. So I'm, I'm just kind of putting them next to each other as we go. And then, so they don't really include the zeros. So I'm just pulling out the zeros and putting them to the side. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm going to start since he's more familiar with multiplication like, like this. Just, okay. William's over here. You can't see it. William, come put your hand, come wave. Say, say, hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, well, two times two equals four. Ding, ding, ding. Good. Hey, William. Four divided by two equals two. Ding, ding, ding. Good. So another way to say four divided by two is how many times does two go into four, or how many twos are in four? Two. And we can we can always check that by counting, right? By counting by twos. Two, four. How many twos was that to get to four? Two. Two. There's also this little visualization on the back, so you, you can show them that. If you go over two and down two, for two, two, you get four squares, right? See that, William? Since we haven't done the quiz yet, we're just going over these together today. I am going to go ahead and put that into the current. Okay? So he seemed to know it, so I'm going to give it a check. But if it gets down to the quiz, and he missed it, I'd go back and highlight it, kind of like I did. You can see I did that with some of these facts earlier. Okay, now, William, three times one is? Three. And one times three is? Three. Ding, ding, ding. William, three divided by three is? One. Ding, ding, ding. Three divided by one is? Three. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Okay, take a picture of it in your mind. So, so go. Can you remember, can you close your eyes and tell me what that card looked like? What was at the top? Uh, three. And what was the bottom right? Three. No, one. And what was at bottom left? Three. Okay. We're, we're practicing our technique. I'll put that in the current. So let me just explain this document I have. So it has... The fact families, these are the ones William's already mastered and I've already quizzed them on. We just did a bunch of that at the beginning because I knew that was going to be easy for him. Right? So they have all the fact families laid out for you so you could organize your flashcards in that order. And then there was also in that course, I was able to get this. And it's all the quizzes that go with those fact families. So it's got the you know, quiz A matches up with the set of fact family, you know, A. After you practice them, you can print these off and use them to test if they really have it mastered. Mm -hmm. Since it's printable, you can print it as many times as you need it, as many students as you need it. So this is cool. But you I mean, you don't have to take the class to, to do this. I mean, you could make these forms yourself or just, you know, print out um, or just handwrite it out, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to use this because I have it and I like things on paper because it leaves a nice little record for me to, to look back on. Anyways, so that is how I am switching over from conventional math fact flashcards to our triangle math flashcards. In case you're wondering, I am still having them do their worksheets. Math comes in so many forms, I want to keep their mind flexible. He is very close, this was today's, to finishing our multiplication workbook. I just bound them both together, the multiplication division for him. And I'll link my video where I was making these. So he's very close to finishing those. And then he's going to go into his division. So I will still have him be, you know, doing, you know, his twos or whatever. So we'll just be doing both of these things. Worksheet, flashcard work. He's going to study the ones. And then probably just do an end of the week quiz from in, from in here, from that stuff. Okay, happy mapping.